everybody, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're gonna be doing, we are going to be using some subtraction strategies in order to help us figure out the differences for each one of these number sentences here. So we're gonna use two different options. We're gonna use counting on, we're gonna use counting back. So the one that some of us are used to, when we think about subtraction, we're thinking about back because we wanna get from a higher number to a smaller number. So to get from a higher to lower, you're obviously moving backwards on a number line. So what we're going to do, we are going to solve each one of these. And first we're gonna start with five minus two equals. So let's do the counting back strategy first. So I have five take away two. I wanna start with my whole, I wanna start with that big number and I'm gonna count back two. One, two. All right, so we have three. So that is what's gonna be my difference. Now, I could also count on to do that. So it's going to be the opposite. So what I'm going to do, I'm not necessarily gonna be starting with my whole, my big number. I'm gonna start with the smaller number and count up, count on, to my big number. So if you remember when we counted back, our difference was three. So let's see if we start at two and count up to five. I wonder if we're gonna get three. So let's see. Starting here, let's count and see how much to get to five. One, two, three. So therefore, our difference or our answer is going to be three. So Let's continue on. Let's do seven minus four equals. So let's do the counting back strategy first. So I'm gonna start with that whole piece. I'm gonna start with the whole and count back what that part is, which is four. So I'm gonna start with seven, count back four, one, two, three, four, and I end on a three. So that should be my difference. But let's double check. Let's use counting on. So we're not gonna start with that big number this time. I wanna start with that part and count up to my whole big number. So I'm gonna start with four. How many hops to get to seven? One, two, three. So therefore, you were right. Our difference is three. So eight take away three, here we go. Eight minus three. So counting back, I am going to start on my big number, my whole number, count back three, one, two, three, okay. So my difference should be five. So let's do the switcheroo, we're gonna count on now. I'm gonna start at that part at three and count up to eight. So here we go, three, how many hops to get to eight? I'm hoping it's five. One, two, three, four, five, there it is. We got that difference of five. All right, let's do one more. So we have 10 minus eight. 10 take away eight equals, ooh, here we go. It's our biggest whole number yet. So 10 and I wanna hop back eight. I wanna count back. So here I go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So hopefully my difference here is gonna be two. So now let's use that counting on strategy. Not start with that big number, remember, I'm starting with that part and I'm counting up to that big whole number. So here I go, eight, how many ups? Hoping it's two, one, two. So boys and girls, we did it. We used two different strategies to figure out for each one of those subtraction number sentences. We counted on, starting with the part and going to that big whole number. And we counted back, starting with that big whole number and counting back that smaller part. So boys and girls, I hope you like our little review, our little tutorial on some additional subtraction strategies. I encourage you to always try some of these at home and I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye everyone.